Glass bottles. You see them everywhere, right? From holding your favorite drinks to storing stuff at home. But do you know how they're actually made? It's pretty cool. We'll take you through the whole process from melting sand to shaping the bottles and letting them cool down. So if you've ever wondered about the magic behind glass bottles, stick around. Natural raw materials are used for manufacturing of glass bottles and glass jars for packaging. These raw materials are silica and soda lime. These materials perform different functions, like soda is used for lowering the melting point of sand, and lime helps in making the glass hard, shiny, and durable. Colored is broken glass, which is obtained from the bottles rejected by manufacturers of glass bottles, from the recycling points, bottle banks, or curbside collection system. It is very beneficial in manufacturing of glass bottles. The batch is prepared on a grinding machine. Raw material cullet and decolorizers, or colorizers, are ground finely in a grinder. The next step is to properly weigh these ingredients in the correct proportions before mixing them together. The mixing of these ingredients is usually done in a mixer until a homogeneous mixture known as a batch or frit is obtained. Before being fed to the kiln, the batches are stored in large vertical silos. The batch is now taken for further process of melting in a furnace. The mixture continues to melt in a furnace heated to a temperature of about 1748 degrees Celsius. The furnace operates 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, and has a service life of approximately 10 to 12 years. The raw material entering the furnace turns into glass bottles in about a day. Molten glass is delivered to the forming machin through a series of distribution channels called four hearths. At the end of the four hearths, the flow of glass is cut into pieces that are tightly controlled by weight, shape, and temperature. Manufacturing of glass bottles is done by two methods, blow and blow process and narrow neck press and blow process. Both processes involve cutting a stream of molten glass with a cutting blade at a temperature of about 1050 to 1200 degrees Celsius to form a rigid glass cylinder commonly referred to as a gob. The gob is of predetermined weight, which is sufficient for manufacturing of glass bottle. Both processes start with the falling of gob by gravity and are guided through chutes into the blank molds. Two halves of molds are clamped shut and then sealed by the baffle from above. To ensure the strength of a newly formed glass vessel, it must be heat treated and subjected to controlled and uniform cooling in a tunnel kiln known as an annealing layer. This can take anywhere from 30 minutes to two hours. If the cooling is uneven, the load will weaken the glass. The layer is a moving conveyor with different temperature zones. Usually there are two surface coatings done on glass bottles and glass jars. The first one is done before annealing, at the hot end, and the other one happens at the cold end, right after annealing. The coating gives the glass a virtually scratch-resistant surface. It is basically made of special glass. As a result of reducing surface damage during use, Coatings are often described as hardening and less commonly as retaining strength coatings. Then glass bottles are 100% checked for the presence of various defects, both automatically and manually. The defects of glass bottles can be of various different kinds. The glass can have small cracks called checks and sometimes foreign objects called stones can penetrate the walls of the glass bottle. Glass bottles are then packaged differently. Bulk pallets are very popular in Europe, which can hold between 1,000 and 4,000 containers each. Automatic machines are used for this process. Other options include boxes and hand-sewn bags. Once packed, new in-stock items are tagged, stored in a warehouse, and finally shipped. And there you have it. The captivating journey of how glass bottles come to life from humble beginnings to everyday essentials, from sand and soda ash to perfectly formed vessels ready to hold your favorite drinks, it's been quite the adventure. So if you found this journey as fascinating as we did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more captivating insights into the world of production and innovation.